On that very same building and just down the hall, there exists a completely different world as far as radio stations go. WMMS, one of Cleveland's progressive rock stations. Started at the quarter of Ninth and Euclid downtown, and he says to me, "This is Cleveland. This is my city." We're back once again. Season two, episode one, Stairway to Cleveland. Woo! Here we are, back in the Gold Top Lounge, boys. Oh, it's a great place to be, Scott. It is five stars. My Yelp review. For sure. First time here. Yes. This is phenomenal. Hey, who's this guy? Yeah, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mike Trevisano. The one and only. The one and only. You might know him well, from the other one. Died. Right, so now I am the one and only. <laughs> he is the one and only. <laughs> He might remember. We were, we were second cousins, so it was That's sort true. of family member. But it's true. But uh, yeah. But anyway, you might know him from the Midnight Movie. You might on many hope. different cable networks and mm -hmm. what a Roku show. and stuff of that nature. Yep. Um, and uh, he's got a film, empty films. You still do that? empty films, but it's more like an empty light pack because we kind of formed. This is a long time ago. It was empty films productions when I first got into filmmaking mm -hmm. and acting. And then we worked, I always had the same cinematographer, same producer, light guy, sound guy, kind of jack of all trades guy. So my cinematographer was Traveling Light Productions and my okay. the jack of all trades was Wolfpack Multimedia. So let's just call ourselves the Empty Light Pack. There you go. Because we Perfect. work on every project together, basically. Mm -hmm. So no, Keith has the Empty Beer Pack usually, <laughs> always. <laughs> but it's Mike Trevis on, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about all... What you've been doing, what you've done. Uh, we got producer Rick here, exciting to be here as always. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it almost <laughs> time to go home yet? <laughs> See how he is? He's very excited to be here with us again, like always. But Mike, thanks for coming down. No, hanging thanks out for with having us. me. Story Cleveland, first episode of our second season. Wow, the first one was so successful. Great. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for stopping by. Okay, I'll right, see you later. Talk to you later. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. No problem. Little known fact, I, I've known this guy yeah. since we were, like, kids. Yes. We were on the same baseball team when we were little. Yes. Um, then we hung out in high school a little bit because I was in a band, yep. quote-unquote band, with one, a couple of your friends. Yep. And we played the South High Talent Show. I still got this on VHS tape, by the way. Hey, I support my friends, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care what I look like supporting them. I support them. Uh, and I was up there you were, showing my support. You man. were showing your support. I was. While Joe, Joe, or my first guitar player, Joe Zariski, yep. uh, God bless him. He learned everything from tab. So yes. he had no meter. The tablature. <laughs> oh, yeah, that hurts. So um, he was great, except when he went to do his eruption solo and his amplifier promptly blew up. I remember. Been there. The first note, though, was like, Grrr. all you see is Mike stand up and goes, yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, <laughs> Joe's amp blew up. and I actually went to one of your practices. I think you were there because I sang alone I again. I guarantee you, was there any needs to practice? I, I sang alone again from Dokken just in case you guys wanted to play that song. Okay. He's like, he's like I, he blocked that out. I don't. Which, whew, We did but, play In My Dreams, kind oh, of. It's still the same. It is kind of, but but anyway, yeah, yeah, but obviously you guys didn't play it, but that was maybe Sorry, a good man. thing. So you've known but him quite a while. Yeah. Yeah, we were at least 30, over 30 years. Wow. More than that. Yeah. 35? I met, you, uh, More than I, that. I met uh, Mike probably five, six years ago. Yep. Vinyl, through Vinyl, first time I went to see Vinyl Arcade. Vinyl Arcade when we first started. Yeah. That's Keith's band. For, first time I saw you guys was down at Fairport Harbor. You guys were out in that little. Oh, Okay. Thingy, yeah, what they call, thing. I don't know, I don't know, what, know what the hell they call it, but yeah, <laughs> it was fun though. It was fun. Yeah, so that was the first time I met uh, you. But yeah, I, but you you've known Ed 
bass player for Vinyl Arcade, Mr. Ed Douglas. Mm-hmm. You've known him Midnight for a Syndicate. while. Yep, for a little longer, right, because yeah. of the Midnight Syndicate. and Yeah. yeah so That kind of leads into what we're going to talk about tonight. Mm-hmm. Let's talk. Let's talk. How you started this whole crazy monster movie, cheesy movie show called The Midnight Movie. Okay. I got to give a shout out because I... It started in like 1998. I didn't join till like 05, 06. Okay. Um, been on the air for 25 years, give or take a couple of years when there was on a hiatus because of cable this, cable that, sure. whatever. Um, yeah, I joined in 05, 06. But shout out to the current crew, Rich Yarber, who is the main host. Yes. I am the co host. We got Big Denty, who is one of the sidekicks. I love them both. And then we got Vern. Who is the Vern, newest addition? Vern, Vern, Vern. He just joined us uh, not too long ago. We just kind of had him come on, show up, show up, and then we uh-huh. just made him a permanent mentor. And then we got uh, Terry G, who's kind of been on a break because he has been so he just wore himself out. So okay, so he's like uh, take a back seat. So that's the current crew: is Rich, me, Denny, and Vern, and then Terry. When he comes back, he'll be back soon. But. Um, so explain what the Midnight Movie is. It's kind of like a nod back well, to the old absolutely. monster movie hosts, like Super Host, Goularty, Big Chuck, you know, Little John, Big Chuck, Little you, John Houlihan. You grew up in this area, Northeast absolutely. Ohio. It's a staple for a late night horror host. Absolutely. Right. Started with Goularty, of course. Yeah, a little bit before, before our time. But, time. But, then, but then you had Houlihan and Big Chuck. Oh. Friday nights. Yep. yep. Wouldn't miss it. Couldn't miss it. Couldn't miss it. Couldn't yep. miss it. First thing you did, Sunday Get the TV guide, push, right to Friday night. What's the movie? Yep. And then push, Saturday was on Superhost. That was that 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 was my weekend. Yeah. Is, is I wouldn't wouldn't miss it for the world. So the midnight movie, I got involved with that because I was in a movie directed by Rich, who is the host for okay. Midnight Movie. Nice. He was just starting to be co-host with the original host back when I was in his movie called uh, Murder Machine. Murder Machine? Murder Machine. Okay. Twisted Spine it's Productions, which is Rich's... Uh, love show? Love movie? <laughs> yeah. Love story. A little love... Little, sounds like it was a rom-com. Way. Rom-com, <laughs> right. You know. And uh, so that's how I met him. And then he, uh, he I, I heard about the show Midnight Movie. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like Big Chuck and Little John Hulan, Big Chuck, all that good stuff. So it was on Adelphia or Time wow. Warner Cable back okay. in the, what came first? Adelphia. Adelphia right. first. So it was on Adelphia. So I turned it on one night when I was laying in bed watching. And they, he, I heard my name because he says, oh, I'm making this movie. And we got we got the Mike Trevisano. Like, yeah. <laughs> so you know, know. Ma- making a joke about it. And um, my eyes perked up. I was like, oh, my God, he said my name on TV. So anyway, that led into come on down to the studio. And that's how basically all of us became hosts for the show anyway. Okay. You come down to the studio, want to be part of a skit. Or, you know, didn't want to help out with camera. And next thing you know, you just hang around. You don't leave. And then eventually <laughs> you wait for someone to, right right someone to, you know, leave the show. And then, boom, you just kind of a pecking order. So okay. Bon Jovi did it. Hey, so it worked. So bon Jovi's on a horror show? <laughs> yep. Now he is. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so I know he's not watching. <laughs> he might be. And, John, we still love you. Yeah. He, might, he might be watching. Because uh, you're right. That's right. Yeah, so, <laughs> the Mike Trevisano. <laughs> but that's how it started. We've been doing it. And we are proud to say that we were finally inducted into the Horror Host Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Nice. I did see that. 25 years awesome. on air. And we are proud to say that over the last 10 years, at least 50 weeks a year, brand new show. Wow. We don't that's take great, time man. off. We that's don't awesome. take time off. That's amazing. Now, and, uh, let me ask you this. I, I'm not super familiar with it, but do you guys show a full-length movie every absolutely. show? Absolutely. Sure. Where do you get the rights for these movies? Public domain. Really? Oh, yes, public domain. And it's, it's changed because when I was first on the show, we were there was gray areas that you can kind of get away with. We were able to show the green slime. We were able to show Godzilla versus Megalon. Really? Can't do that no more. Dang it. Yeah. What about Satan's so now, cheerleaders? Maybe. What about we got Satan schools for children shouldn't play, play with, with dead, dead things. things. That's, that's a great one. That's a staple and that's one of my favorites. One. We do show that. The Satan school for girls, the what's children. The one, what's the one with the arm with the minors? The severed arm. I guess that's the <laughs> weird. The one with the arm called the severed, the severed arm. arm. <laughs> so, and you know, starring the severed arm. We do it because he went on to move. He went into uh, Adam's family later. I heard. Oh yeah. <laughs> But 
but we we do it because you know what we grew up watching. Sure. You know, so it brings yeah. us back to those days of Hool Hand, Big Chuck, Big oh, Chuck, yeah. Little John, and Superhost, and uh, the Ghoul. Yeah, we're gonna talk about all this in our our subject tonight is okay. going to be favorite Cleveland uh, TV shows, hosts, things oh. of that nature. And I did a lot of research on this because yeah. you know my wonderful teammates don't do shit. No, we don't have to. I know a little <laughs> bit here. Yeah. I do. As mu- I do as much research as you do at video editing. All right. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> mm. But yeah, so there was a, there's a lot. <laughs> he snorted. He had to. It was worth it. <laughs> there's a lot out there that we, I'm sure I forgot some. So if you guys could remember That's any, a good one. because there's been a lot of talent and a lot of cool shows that have come through this town. Absolutely. But we'll get into that. Let's talk more about the Midnight movie. Oh, okay. Um, so you've been on there since 2005, 2000... 06, yeah. Okay, 2005. So you're coming up on 20 years, more or less. Mm-hmm. And you guys, do you just sit there and inter- interject during the movie? Nope, we don't do that. We we like to not... The old host back the before he left, so seven, eight years ago... Mm-hmm. He liked to interject and, and make some funny comments or funny noises or little it's remarks. Kind of like the cool stuff. Like, but cool. it's like, that's what everybody does. Yeah. We want, you know what? Yeah. Mystery science theater yeah. stuff. So let's just show the movie uninterrupted, the way it was meant to be seen, you know. And you uh, take your little we have break. our segments. We we talk. We do, you know, I have a Triv's trivia segment where I come up with some trivia about, you know, something has to do with the movie. Now, sometimes... The movies we show don't have much to go on, so we have to do like a, <laughs> six, a lot de- of tr- six degrees of, like if we're showing a movie, like a Japanese movie, I go something Godzilla or something, you know, sure. it's got nothing to do with, but uh, we got Trips Trivia and we do a face-off segment, you know, something to do with the movie again, you know, sure. and, uh, you know, we have uh, I have a hotline, people can call the hotline and give us suggestions, comments, awesome. and this and that, and, and it's, it's all improv Never scripted. You know, we have our little notes of, okay, this movie stars this, this, this. And we have little tidbits. We give some information. You don't read from Wikipedia? We do. Well. Hmm. I might get a couple of bullet points. <laughs> but do you, uh, do you do a holiday movie? We do. We have Christmas like special and a New Year's Santa special. Santa versus the Devil. That's well, we we used movie. to show that a lot. And then we did Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. What's with him and Santa and the Devil and shit? But we said, you know, know he loves Satanic. It's said, a movie. We said enough. And it, it, it's, it's just very called, it's just called Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. You're talking. That's okay. We're, we're having our own. We're having our own, we're having our own show. That's you. fine. Well, I'm, we're having our own show too. He asked oh, a question, fine. but we uh, just this past year we showed Scrooge. Like from 1941 or something. Ooh, that was a good one. 34. There's a 1934. See? He knows. That, that's yeah, the public yeah, domain. Yeah, that's one. probably the best yeah. one. Yeah. And then we also we like we had like a, a double header because we're on Spectrum Channel 180. Um, we're not on the we're not on the guide. You'll see it here. We're not on the or guide. Here. No, you won't. So don't look for the guide yeah. and say, "Oh, it, it says uh, Johnny Carson's greatest clips." No, we're on there. Um, but we had a double header for Christmas. We had the Scrooge, and then we also had Silent Night, Bloody Night. Ooh, what about classic? Silent Night, Deadly Night? Can you? That's no, that, not that's, that's not yet. public domain. That was eighties. We are so limited. We got to go naughty. deep into the it was vault. So good. It was horrible. Deep it was into the vault to movie. find some of these movies. But you know, you, well, how do you, you come do that? across? I mean, where do you go? Our producer Rocco, he's got a, a whole. He's uh, the super. Your hero. producer yeah. does work. Yeah, I gotcha. I wouldn't like, change anything because I have so much fun with those guys doing the show. Right. I mean, it's one of You're those. You're like family. You're like brothers. It's like one of those things. It's like an escape where you just Absolutely. enjoy. You can't. You look forward to doing it. It's just a fun time. We have so much fun being around yeah. each other. Yeah, and one day we'll be that way. And it's just a blast. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Change anything about it? That's great, man. Uh, it's cool. I mean, it, it, we and that's what we need, though. I mean, there's not that kind of show anymore. Nope. Uh, I mean, there's Ben Gooley up in Detroit or whatever, or wherever he's at. Well, there's so many local that are still. There's so many shows because you know, like I said, if you're from this area, you grew up to that. Right. So you all try to keep like there's a Galardi Fest that comes around oh, every year. I, I've got to get to one. You better hurry up. Oh, they got to close down. 
<laughs> they they haven't done it in the last couple of years. Wow, there's and um, things because of COVID, and then um, Chuck's health. He's uh, getting yeah, older, he's almost ninety years old, okay? and it's hard to get some of these people like Houlihan. He still comes in from Florida every really? year. Yep, and he still he still looks great and gets around great. Uh, John, he's he's a riot, and you know they still have a pizza eating contest. I mean, it's a great. They show clips. Pizza fan. Yep. Oh, yep. Remember the pizza it, it was, Well, I remember that, but it was, oh, I don't want to give up. Well, Mama yeah, Roberto's. But whatever. Right, okay. and, but, if you're listening to Mama Roberto's, yeah, you can sponsor yeah, a show. Well, oh, yeah. I'm just saying that <laughs> That's a spicy it, it was ball. a great, great uh, convention, and it, and it drew, you know, they used to have it every year in October, the last few years. So supposedly they're trying to get it back going this yeah. year in, in 23, in October, hopefully. Um, we have a big part in it. We usually okay. help run some of the video. We do, you know, we, we did host or we did judge a karaoke contest and a costume cool. contest. So we have our moments on stage yeah, and too. Like but you said, it's, it's kind of sad because in the last few years, we've lost Marty, yep. Superhost, we lost yep. Ron, we lost the yep. goal. And, you know, Big Chuck and, is, and, like I said, almost 90. And that's the thing is that, you know, I'm glad we're on cable, um, but... That's we were on Wow Cable, but that they changed their whole satellite to the whole digital thing, so we're no longer on Wow Cable. Okay. We're on Cox Cable and Spectrum, and then we're on Roku, like the MonsterChannel.com. Okay. Um, that's um, you can watch that online, the MonsterChannel.com. There's Rick, so Rick many at the bottom twenty four seven of of horror hosted shows. Um, just everyone has their own niche. Some of them are in costumes. Some of them aren't. Some of them do interject with no. the movies. So, you know, it, it, it's everybody who's it's cool. Something though. for it's, everyone. They're keeping it alive, though. I mean, that's right. what you guys are helping do. But see, the, the, like, we're all, we, the, our genre or, or our demo, sorry, our demo who enjoys our kind of stuff, they like to just sit down, turn the TV on, turn the channel. They, they don't get online and do their streaming and all that, you know? they. Yeah. They're old school. Right. They're old school. And, then, you oh, know, gee. like trying to teach my mother how to work Roku. Forget it. You know? <laughs> yeah, I, know, like, I get it. She calls totally me up and I'm on the I'm, I'm on the road driving and she goes, oh, I don't I can't get this. I can't. I got to close my eyes while I'm driving and visualize the remote. Not a good, good thing to do, right. kids. <laughs> yeah, we don't recommend doing that. He's the views and opinions it. expressed on the <laughs> That's right. But I got to I got to visualize how to t t on the remote and the third button down in the second column, the, the, this, <laughs> press this twice. And, and you know, but. Back to my point is that, you know, I, I know it's the future, but, you know, the older crowd just wants to sit down, turn the TV on and, 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 and enjoy, enjoy the show, you know? Yeah. So we're kind of losing some, you know, an audience, yeah. unfortunately. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, okay, so you guys mostly do horror movies, I'd imagine. Yeah, right? horror side. Yeah, most. Well, what got you into horror movies? Were you a big fan as a kid? Big Chuck and Little John and Superhost. Right. That, you know, growing up, you know, the... the Come on, gargoyles. Ah, right. Come on, right? Right. As a kid, gargoyles, that, that's what got me into the monsters. And then um, dinosaurs, uh, one million years BC, unfortunately. Oh, you know, it wasn't just the dinosaurs. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Right. Was, <laughs> no, it was. But, but, I mean, I think now every generation, the older generation, they look down at, you know, their their shows were the best. I think ours was the best. I Look agree. at our our. our TV shows growing up. Yep. Our, we had the Big Chuck and Little John, Hulahan, Superhost. Our Saturday morning cartoons. Yep. I mean, don't even know Saturday morning are cartoons for, are made for TV yeah. movies. Salem's Lot. I mean, I loved know, having three channels. Bionic Man. Come so, on, I did. <laughs> what? I loved having three channels. Yeah. Yeah. Well, three and then forty-three and sixty-one because there was okay, less junk. Or nineteen because there was then less junk. Twenty-five. Okay, so I like 25. having under ten channels. <laughs> Because there's less junk. Yeah. yeah. They, they took care of what they were showing to get a viewer. to look forward to. Exactly. Now there's so much junk on there. That, you know, there's 100 channels and there's really nothing Nobody on. TV or it's like, oh, let's that. repeat. You don't need one. Let's show the same movie four times in a row. Because it saves them money. Don't get me started. That's a whole other yeah. subject. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new world. But that's what got me started into the horror movie. You know, wait, you know the dinosaurs and then the, you know, the gargoyles. And then, you know, uh, Superhost with Godzilla. I mean... Oh, yeah, just let, left such a huge impression. You yeah. know, I was ten years old. My mom took us to the double feature Did drive to see Phantasm in the Fog. Oh, and I was ten years oh, old. The best. You know? Phantasm is still my favorite scary movie. Is it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And my brother has a tattoo still. Does he on his arm? 
Okay. The, the ball, the tall man. That's, tall man with the ball. One no of my all time favorite movies, too, but my all time favorite is John Carpenter's The Thing. Oh, so good. Will never be top. So good. <laughs> my all time favorite. Yes. Well, so that's your favorite. All time favorite. Of all time. All time favorite. And I, I know Rich from, you know, my host always says I have a lot of all times. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. that is my, my all time. So <laughs> I have hundreds of favorites. <laughs> I have a lot of all times, but that's my yeah. all time. So what do you see your show doing? I mean, you guys are trying to expand it, we, try to get. You know, we, we we talk a lot, but we're also busy. But a uh, good thing is within the last year, Rich and Big Denty both have retired. Okay. So now they'll have a little bit more time to look for sponsors, mm -hmm. um, search out more avenues. Uh, we would love to just get on a regular channel to where no matter what sure. cable company you have or what dish it, network you have. It would have, be awesome. You know, you can catch us, mm -hmm. you know, but. Have you tried yeah. shooting it towards any one of the local networks? Or is that more of a headache? It's, it, it'd be more of a headache, but, you know, we, we I mean, we've talked to, to at least approach some of the sub channels, you know. Right. But they're really. It's a shame because it, what you guys are doing are exactly what they did for years that was successful for I them. I know, but I just. Yeah, it's, things it's, change. It's, 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 it's almost like corporate. a limited audience. I mean, we all. Love it, but well, there's a lot of us out there. <sighs> yeah, just have it's the, it's the ease of trying to find it. Mm -hmm. Again, goes back to the the streaming where the older uh, crowd they just want to turn a channel on and here's a random there. thought. You remember Night Gallery? Absolutely. Oh, God, God it was a great show, and you had to work at it. To watch it, you did. It was, right? it was it was late. It was a vampire soap opera, is what it was. But I mean, you really had to stay up. There's Our your phone. Age. We found your phone, hey. but <laughs> but it's funny you bring that up because I had I wanted to create something like that, like a uh, Tales from the Crypt, oh, yeah. something like that. So I I filmed two episodes called Tales to Tell at Midnight, where it were half hour episodes, nice. and I had a I had a host which was Rich, uh, dress up as a Baron Bloodstorm, and he would do an intro to the story, awesome. and then we'd do a little 25 minute, you know, That's kind awesome. of with a twist ending kind of thing, and at the end he'd close it, you know, and that was like a big idea that I had like 10 years ago. What What's it like getting an episode done in a half hour? Then, you know, <laughs> took a you lot longer to say. <laughs> <laughs> We're over here making mini movies. Yeah. Well, we have to because it's all good content. You don't want to miss these nuggets of fucking awesomeness. It was it's good content. <laughs> It was, it was, you know, it's something that I want to revisit because I have a lot of stories up here. But I go, so, so you haven't been doing any of the filmmaking it, lately? No, or? it hasn't. We did the 48 hour film. Those uh, are projects good, yeah. Every year for almost 10 years straight. And uh, we came runner up a couple years in a row. That's awesome. Um, and one of, one of mine was selected to the Cleveland International Film Festival, which was a That's huge great. honor. That's great. Because yeah. not everybody gets, I mean, a lot of people are like, holy crap, how'd you get in it? You know, and it, that was a huge honor for everybody involved. Yeah. And that one's called Careful What You Wish For. You can just search my name on YouTube, type in Careful What You Wish For, Empty Films or something, and you'll find it. Yeah, I did see one film that you made. I, it's been a minute. And I think the guy had like amnesia or something and didn't know if he killed. I'd spend a minute. Just the fact. It was, it's it's probably, it was probably my five minute short film I did where I, where I played three characters. I think that could have been it. I had a shaved head, I had a goatee, and then I had a, uh, a suit and tie on, three different personalities. Filmed it on 48 hours. Took me six hours to film that. Was it a 30 minute episode? No, five minutes. Oh, even better. <laughs> Five minutes because I just we, we did one shot of me sitting, you know, standing in the corner doing my one part. Then I go and shave and then put the suit on and do the other shot. And then I would shave my yeah, head. That's, that's and then, definitely the one I've seen. Yeah. 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 And I, awesome. you know, I had a chance to work with, uh, you know, a couple of somewhat big names like Michael Madsen. I had a chance to work with him. Mr. You know, Pink or Mr. Was White? It, was it Mr. Blonde? Mr. Blonde. Yeah, that's it's it. Mr. Blonde. It's been a minute since I started to work with him. Sorry, Quentin, movie. if you're watching, I screwed up your movie yes. called Ice Agent. That was, you know, that was fun. You know, I got that a chance to work great. with him and uh, and then Joanna Pakula, who she is the one who played Val Kilmer's woman in Tombstone. Really? Okay. Yeah. So she was, she was never a big star, but she, in the 80s, she made some stuff, you know. She was his Huckleberry. She was. Hmm. She's so, bigger than us. Those are some fun times. Yeah, man. Well, so you got any plans to get back into it then? Uh, absolutely. Cool. Just to get, you know, 
find the time get you know get yeah. some things squared away because sure. it, it's a huge it's, commitment yeah it's on it's on my it's list a of huge things commitment i'm gonna talk to rick about it uh-oh Go i've ahead. got tons of time you do yeah lots see we're gonna start our opus <laughs> We never know what our seventeen-part series. Rick. We never have its sarcasm or honesty with Rick, yeah. and that's why we love him. Do we though? Yeah, yeah we, we do. do. I like you, buddy. I love you, Rick. Thanks, man. Do, Thanks. Isn't it fascinating though that a lot of people didn't realize Gulardi was Ernie Anderson, who went right. on to all the, that that tremendous voice for all those 80s. Hollywood the trailers and, and the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the 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 TV yeah. trailers yeah. was Ernie Flippin' Anderson. You I know? believe it. And it's just we had a lot of talent. In well, let, speaking of which, let's talk about some of these Cleveland mm-hmm. legends. We're all caught up like, with everything you want. Like anything John, else like, you want to mention? Like, the website? Uh, anything? I, I, if I see a squirrel, I'll just blurt it out. <laughs> but Coolahan um, <laughs> and Big Chuck. It's where it started for me. Is where it started for me too. Mm-hmm. My grandpa have a sleepover on Friday nights and Hooli and Chuck and you know. Oh yeah. I couldn't wait, but it's funny because it's like I liked. See what show did you like? What did you like better, Hooli and Big Chuck or Big Chuck Little They're the well, same thing. Hooli or Super Host seventy nine. Oh, okay, so Super. I was a Super Host kid. Because I will say Hooli and Big Chuck, Big Chuck Little John. Let's just put them as one because it's right. the same show. Yeah. Or Super. I, I love Super Host just because. The Three Stooges, and he had the Godzilla movies. See, that's yeah, that's and, where I was gonna go. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I remember, it, I remember, it was easier to to watch it. Yeah, I mean, it was at noon. noon. Right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, right, right, right. Trying to stay up. You, you so stay up. Hard. You saw the intro. You know, you saw the first. Joke Give me and, that uh, shoe. You're but, like, yeah, soup's on. <laughs> but it's almost like I enjoyed, I enjoyed the Hulahan bitch Chuck Little John show better because of the skits. Yes. But I like yes. Superhost movies better. Wait a minute now. Don't now, forget no. about the moronic woman. I know, but come on. He, 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 had, he had a handful of skits. Like a convoy. Okay. Yeah. He had a handful of right. skits. That he played over. Right. You know, Gullahan, hand, Big Chuck, I mean, there was just tons of them. <laughs> yeah. And some of them are so funny that, you know, you can't show them nowadays. Oh, no. You know, we, we won't even mention them because they'll yeah. have to blurt it out. But... Yeah, they're great, you know. But but that's the thing. I mean, people can't even laugh at themselves anymore. It drives me crazy. But that's a whole other subject. That's a whole other subject. <laughs> I laugh at me but with Super Host, I still remember being a kid of probably eight, ten years old. I laugh at you. Drawing too. a picture and sending it to Super Host. You saw it on the back. Then he put it on the wall. Did you behind. see it? No, but uh, I don't think my mom ever sent it. I <laughs> I didn't see mine, but my sister sent one. and She got her name read and all that. Happy birthday! Really? But yeah. So yeah, you know my what? Brother didn't even watch the show. Really? On the ghoul, yeah. He, he uh, The ghoul, actually, when my... I'm not going to try and bring this down, but when my brother was young, he had Hodgkins. And he was in um, the hospital at Rainbows. And both Big Chuck and the ghoul came down and visited him and gave him an autograph wow. sweatshirt. and They were really That's great. Awesome. But, yeah, so uh, my brother uh, sent something in to the ghoul, and he showed it. That was great. And, and that, that's the thing, too, about them is that they were local personalities who would go out into the public. Absolutely. Remember the care. remember the basketball games that basketball Hulahan games. and Chuck would do, you know? And, Softball and, games. Yeah, the, they would always come out and like and just do an appearance or something. That's what we try to do. The Midnight Movie is, you know, obviously we're not like them. But we try be. to do, you know, personal appearances. You know, we sure. do uh, every few months. We do free movie night uh, at Atlas Cinemas and Mentor. That's awesome. Ooh. Where we do a little vote, where we post like five movies. Well, have you put uh, Flash Gordon up last we time? We did, and it won. And it's like, we, we pick movies that like, you don't see that much anymore and you, you want to revisit on the big That's screen awesome. again. That's awesome. You know, and uh, what was the, we did the Blob remake, that one, one okay. year mm-hmm. or one month. And then uh, what was the, we threw The Fog, John Carpenter's sure The, the Fog. The Arcade episode was stunning for you. It was fantastic. See? It was fantastic. And that was a lot of fun. And we did, uh, yeah, Flash Gordon. So we don't know what we're going to do next, but, you know, we come up with five or six movies. and Fantastic. We, just, we do. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. I'd be there. I'd be there. But it's, killer it's, clowns it's free to get in, space. you know, we, and, we, oh, and we, we do wrap Attack of Killer Tomatoes. Oh, God. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we, we give out prizes. You know, if you buy concessions, we give out raffle tickets. That's we give out prizes. Yeah, we so we try to do really that every few months. Children should play with dead things. I mean, it's a classic. It is a class. We show it every other year on the show, and it's like it's so great. 
It is. It's just that today that brings me back to Superhost. I remember watching yes. it at Superhost all the time. And the ghoul. Now here's here's well. the one thing I wanted to mention about the difference between Superhost, and we'll talk more in depth with these guys in a minute. But Superhost and Big Chuck and Little John or Hulahan is Superhost was a two hour block, I believe, on Saturdays. Where and No, Superhost was one to four. One to four. Okay, Twelve to they one played, was the Stooges, and then one right, to four because they had two movies. Two movies that originally had two yep. movies, yeah. But then I remember watching after Big Chuck and Little John, the Bowery Boys would come on after yep, that. Yeah, the Bowery Boys. Yeah. And I remember you stay yes. up till two in the morning between that, and it was so difficult. And even oh though, yeah, there was, but it was something special about it, man. You had your like you get said, your popcorn. You and look forward to it. You'd have your sleepover with your you'd, buddy. Yeah, you'd make your little, week. you'd make your little uh, <laughs> uh, blanket tents yeah, and forts, forts yeah. and you'd watch your little little portable TV. Yeah. You're watch you're Attack of the late. Giant Leeches or something, you yeah. know. And, and then you see Mary Hartsky. <laughs> <laughs> so great. We, you know, Rich, believe it or not, God, uh, he wanted to bring back the streak. Well, and he, really? Damn near gave me a heart attack because no one warned me when we were at Galardi Fest. And he was filming. He, he, did, he did a couple of things where he wears this skin-colored. Oh, leotard. <sighs> I am watching the table Oops. and I just hear... This door open. We're at Galardi Fest. Pete, there's a band playing on stage. Chuck and John are sitting there talking to people, signing autographs. There's people walking around. And he comes running out with, and our producers following him. And he's running around screaming, looking like he's naked, running around Galardi Fest. Oh yeah, they're calling. Oh my <laughs> God! Is that Reese Stevens? <laughs> they I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and so then we, we we posted the skit and we got flagged because we used that the song. song. So yeah. we have to find uh, rats. He's got someone that was going to write a song similar for it. Yeah. So. Ah, such fun times, man. Yeah. Well, let's talk about some of these other guys. Okay. This is the name that always comes up. I'm not familiar with him, but he was the original guy for Cleveland Television. Captain Penny. I've heard. Oh, I yeah. know the name. Oh, yeah. and, and Are you familiar with him, Rick? Right? Yeah. Uh, I was I was a Captain Penny's cleanup kid where he'd clean up your plate and you'd get like. Yeah, the Clean Plate Club. He yeah, started clean the Clean Plate, plate Club. Wow. wow. He also was known to be played. He started the Three Stooges and the all that stuff that he'd show the Little Rascals on his show, and he started like you said. The, uh, and he you know, did the you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool mom. That was his his shtick, and he went from fifty five to seventy one, yeah. uh, and he died in seventy four because I guess Captain Penny he, he went till seventy one smoked a lot. Uh, yeah, fifty five to seventy one. Can you believe that? That's a long run. Yeah, I probably wouldn't remember that. Yeah. I mean, I know the name. I heard people talk about him. He's been referenced. We've interviewed some people and who has referenced him, too. So I know the name. Not familiar with Same. I mean, we were babies when he left oh, there. But dude. he uh, did a daily show. It was daily show from noon. It started at noon on March 2nd, 1955 to September 4th, 1971. What network? WEWS, I believe it was Channel 5. Mm -hmm. What time? I mean, noon. It was on noon every day. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, which is noon every day, so it's almost like the unless, unless you know, prize movie. My research is wrong. Depends <laughs> on what you read. <laughs> but yeah, Captain Penny, you hear about it. I mean, I remember my folks talked about Captain Penny when yeah. I was a kid. But he was dressed up like a train conductor and um, did the whole spiel. I mean, it started it in Cleveland with the the kids shows. Really? Uh, here's one that I looked. I, I forgot. Totally started here. And this isn't a horror movie. This isn't kids' no. show. The Mike Douglas show started in Cleveland. Really? Mike Douglas started oh, here in yeah. Cleveland, the Mike Douglas show. Martin family was a big fan of the, Mar of the Mike well, Douglas show. Well, you think about when he left here and went to Philadelphia, I believe. He was only here for like four years, I want to say. Mm -hmm. uh, but he went to Philadelphia, and that's when, you know, it really took off. And then, you know, Kiss started there. They had the Rolling Stones on there. Mm -hmm. He had John and Yoko on there for like a whole week or two. I mean, Mike Douglas. First time I ever heard of the babies was on the Mike Douglas show. I mean, yeah. I mean, he was around. Let's see what my notes say here. Mike Douglas died in uh, 2006, but the Mike Douglas show was on from 1965 to 1981. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Yeah, he was a TV staple across the country. I mean, he really was. Um, it was in four he, four years in Cleveland before he moved to Philadelphia. Hmm. But I mean, did not know that. Yeah, Mike Douglas started right here in Cleveland. Glad and so here's one. Here's one I've heard of. <laughs> I don't remember watching. Maybe because I was too old. 
from 81 to 91, Hickory Hideout. I remember Hickory Hideout. Remember Hickory Hideout? Hickory Hideout. Never heard of it. I know they had a couple. It was puppets and things of that nature. I remember it. Um, I didn't watch it. Yeah, Wayne Turney and Cassie Wolf hosted Hickory Hideout. I believe they're both very religious people now. At least Cassie is. I think she's big in the church. Uh, I think the actual puppets are in one of the churches in Lakewood or something Mm. as well. Mm. But uh, Nutso the Squirrel and Shirley and Buzz Buzzsaw. Hmm. I remember. So, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty big show. Actress Catherine Hahn had her first TV appearance was on Hickory Hideout. Catherine Hahn also played on WandaVision. She was the evil one on WandaVision. She's done a bunch of other TV shows and things of that nature. But Hickory Hideout, yeah, I do remember. I don't ever remember watching it. No, I remember the name and I remember the commercials for it. But it was Cleveland. It was was based in Cleveland and it became, they they syndicated nationally. So good for them. Uh, And here we go with the big names now. Superhost Mm -hmm. from 1969 to 1989. 20 years Marty was on the show. And we were so lucky that just a few months before he passed away, he finally made a live appearance because he moved closer to West Virginia, right? Yes. So he made an appearance at one of the Comic Cons a few years ago. And we were lucky enough that we, we did a skit with him where really? he said, Give me that shoe. That's and, awesome. Yeah, it was like, wow. It was that's just, that's it, a feather in a cap right yeah, there. Yeah, that was awesome. And then we were such gonna, a great guy, too. And then we were going to go and cool meet dude. up with him and, and do an interview. He was all up for it. And then he, he got ill and passed sick. away, unfortunately. Yeah, he died in 2020. Started at noon with Soup's On, played two episodes of The Three Stooges, and usually a Laurel and Hardy. Mm-hmm. Then at 1 o'clock, Mad Theater would begin, and they played two monster movies mm-hmm. and all the classics. <sighs> Escape from Monster Island. Godzilla. God, Count on a Godzilla movie, at least. Mighty Joe Young. <laughs> all those great Can't get enough classic. Of that, man. It's good stuff. Can't oh get enough God. of them. We're yeah. gonna and all the, like we said, he was just part of our childhood. I mean, I'm wearing a shirt right now because there was, And the thing is, he was like... A big wig at Channel 43. Mm-hmm. He was like a, a news guy. He was like one of the bigger yeah, bosses he also there. Yeah, the news. I remember that. So it was weird seeing him do the news without his whole shtick. Yeah, you're like, mm-hmm. wait. As a kid, yeah. you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. Who? Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Another classic. <laughs> I'm on to you. We'll move on from Superhost. We'll probably touch on him a few more times before the show's over. Barnaby. Yeah, right. uh, another staple, waking up. 1957 to 1967, he was on Channel 3, WKYC. He was actually an elf then. He had the pointy ears and the whole nine yards. Sure. And then from 1969 to 1990, he was on Channel 43. Lynn Sheldon, he died in 2007. And, of course, we all know, if anybody calls, tell him Barnaby Barnaby said hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, he played a lot of cast. I remember Casper of Friendly Ghost being on there all yes, the time. Yes, bro. Um, he had an invisible parrot that basically was brilliant because he just had a, a parrot cage, a bird cage, <laughs> and he'd say, okay, uh, Long John, and he'd talk to him, and then just camera would focus on the empty cage, and he'd do a voice like that. <laughs> like, oh, keep your budget low. I was going to say, it's less people to pay. <laughs> That's right. We should maybe do a invisible key. <laughs> I mean, I was just going to say invisible <laughs> host. He's in. <laughs> and you can videotape this in your car. <laughs> but yeah, Barnaby was great. I mean, he yeah. he actually had a, he did, I remember it was a big problem in 75. It was a big scandal that he uh, was treated for alcoholism. And um, everybody freaked out because, you know, a child star whoa. or a child oh, host. But, yeah. Man, it was the 70s, man. Yeah. Everybody had an alcohol problem. Yeah. You didn't no. have a problem in the, the 70s. People, you you were the problem. Probably had an alcohol problem. He was talking to an invisible parrot. <laughs> yeah, come on. Well, yeah, there were Maybe it was more than just alcohol. I don't know. Yeah. Not to him. <laughs> he wasn't invisible to him. He saw that freaking parrot. And then, matter of fact, he had a spinoff with Woodrow the Woodsman, who was on Barnaby. And from 1961 to 1972 and 1997 to 2000. He was I, don't a side, I don't remember him too much either. I remember the name and I saw the pictures of him. Was Mr. Jingling part of Barnaby? Bar- Barnaby? No. Actually, Mr. Jingling was started on uh, uh, Captain Penny. Oh. Captain Penny started Mr. Jingling. Who knew? You did. I did. <laughs> Wikipedia did. <laughs> <laughs> see, Rich, he goes past page one of Google. They always make fun of me whenever I have my tidbits for the show. That's right. See. They go, he goes, oh, what is that? Just page one of Google? I said, he, 
He's got like page four or five. So. Dude, he's I really he does really, his research. He, I, he was digging. My, <laughs> like you're looking for a replacement. Hey, That's hey. <laughs> I work cheap. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's your favorite? <laughs> What's your favorite planet? All right. And of course, <laughs> oh, we're going to hit on Goulardi. We talked yeah, about yeah. him. Yep. Ernie Anderson, he passed away in 1997. Yeah. He was a legend. And, I as, mean, and as popular as he was, it was only for a few years. Yeah. He would, yeah. 1963, 1966. It's like as popular as Star was like Trek was. Well, Star Trek was only a couple of years. It's like, yeah, exactly. You would think that it was like he lasted you know, years, just like when the I was, original Star Trek. When I was, was reading like, oh. this, they said, I don't think I have it in my notes, but they said he was so popular at the time mm-hmm. that the crime rate yep. went down on Friday nights because yep. all the kids were at home watching one Yep, That's true. That's what the truck and John say it all the time. Yeah, they said right here, uh, he started off as an announcer on Channel 8 uh, and a movie program host, but his original hosting got canceled because it was just straight ahead. Uh, so he remained under contract as just a booth announcer. Then he agreed to host Shock Theater for an additional $65 a week. <laughs> yeah. That was big money, I guess, in 63. Well, uh, so. Oh, found your phone again. Yeah, I know where it is. <laughs> Uh, I just can't get to it. But the, he, they noticed that the other late night horror hosts were vampires and scientists. And so he decided to be a hipster. So he decided to wear the lab coat with the Drink buttons. Pants. Uh, horned rim glasses, Skinny with jeans, a missing pants, lens. Beard. Mm-hmm. Not that kind of hipster. Oh. This is a 60s hipster, not a... Okay, just checking. Men are hipster. He didn't have free-range chickens? <laughs> no, them chickens was under lock and key. Uh, yeah, fake Van Dyke and bad, messy wigs, basically. Uh, he used to... <laughs> and the thing that... And, and the ghoul took this up. I wasn't really familiar with ghoul. I didn't see a lot of his stuff because mm-hmm. obviously he was before our time. But he used to make fun of the movies that he was playing. <laughs> and some of the things he would say, if you want to watch a movie, don't watch this one. <laughs> or this movie is so bad, you should just go to bed. <laughs> some of the things he would say. Some of the stuff that we show. Yeah. And, and, and he would just, he would take up on everybody. I remember him calling Dorothy full-time, Dorothy baby, and things of that nature. Dorothy. Yep. And he'd take, make fun of Mike Douglas and Tim Conway and all these other people. Uh, he started the careers of Big Chuck mm-hmm. and Houlihan. Mm-hmm. And he was also good friends with Tim Conway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, That's it. And then he became the name. voice of ABC. Yep. And then his protege, Ron Swede, yep. who showed up at a, in a gorilla costume at age 14. And one of his appearances, he just took him under his wing. Hey, group. Yep. He said, go ahead. You want to do it? Go ahead and do it. Because he yep. kept begging Gulardi yep. to keep it going, keep it going. Exactly. And he said, no. He goes, you want to do it? Yeah. Go ahead and do but it. But he couldn't get the name Gulardi. So, he, so he had to go with the ghoul. Yep. We'll come to the ghoul in a minute, but let's oh, talk about who landed Big Chuck. Big yep. Chuck and Little John. Uh, from 1966, they picked it up to 2007. Uh, with Houlihan, it was 63 to 79. Mm-hmm. Now they have a skit show that's been going on from 2011 to now. Uh, aired 1130 on Friday nights until 1988. Uh, they had to move it because they are Sydney Hall's show, so they moved it to f- Saturdays. Um, and then it kind of it started petering out a little bit then because they kept moving it. And then when Mad TV started, they had to move it again. Uh, so yeah, it finally settled on the starting time of twelve thirty a Saturday night, mm. which I mean, that's rough. It was CBS right? WJW. Uh, that was on, um, yeah, Fox, Fox 8. Because when Fox bought out WJW, that's when the Arsenio Hall thing. But uh, in 2006, Big Chuck announced he was going to retire mm-hmm. in 2007. They had a big hour-long retrospective called Big Chuck and Little John, The End of an Era. Um, so their last show, June 16th, 2007. And then again, they've done the clip show. They did Couch Potato Theater. Uh, but they, you still see them, what's it, on Saturdays, afternoons or something? No, or, Sundays. Or Sunday, 11.30. Sundays around 11.30 or 12 at night. You know, they, they, you know, Chuck and John, they sit there, they just do a little spiel about this, that, and it's like a little half hour yeah. skit. Skits. Yeah. And there's so many great they, skits. They but they can't, like, again, you can't show a lot of oh, the, some of their great the lush mouth great. stuff. And you can't the, show the, the so ones. Certain the, ethnics. The, wait, the, certain, the, certain, the waiting room mothers with, oh, the, yeah. with, the, with the milk. This is probably, yeah. you, you, you can't can, show that can. no more. Yeah. But yeah. Crap was funny as hell, man. That's yeah, why people so lighten up. It was so good. 
God, lighten the up. Pittsburgh but, fan on the, the ledge. And but, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had so many. They had so many DVDs of all their skits. And we're we actually I we did a skit with uh, Little John that they included on one of their DVDs. Really? Where okay. uh, awesome. do you remember the half a head of lettuce? Yes. A half a head of lettuce. I where this is fine. Yes. And then yeah. like the Some other big, dumb, <laughs> ugly looking jerk wants a half a head oh, of lettuce. Right. And, yeah, it was big, and Big Stash was standing behind him and goes, yeah. And this fine gentleman would like the other half. When John still had his jewelry store, uh-huh. we we were at a Gallardi Fest and we filmed the first half there. I'm in a suit and it's like I'm I'm like dusting some table off. And Big Stash walks up and he says, I want a half a carrot. <laughs> and I go, What? Half a carrot. I go, I'll be right back. So then we filmed the other part at John's uh, jewelry store. Yeah. And I walk up to John, and it was what, such a thrill. I never thought in a million years right. I'd be doing this. Mm-hmm. And I go, hey, John. He goes, what? I go, remember a long time ago when some big, dumb, ugly-looking jerk walked up to you and said he wanted a half a head of lettuce? And he goes, huh. And it flashes back to that original skit. He goes, yeah, yes. why? I go, well, he's here now. <laughs> he's like, he is. What's he want? He goes, he wants a half a carrot. And he goes, we can do that. And you show the outside of the jewelry store. It was, no, you know. That's cool. And they loved it. And they put it on one of their best of uh, uh, skit DVDs. So no. well, we're, pr- we're proud of that. We'd love to get John on the show. So, John, I know you're watching. Give us a call. We'll yeah, get you on the show. It, 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 that was such a blast. And, you know, Houlihan, you know, when he left the show and he moved to Florida, Florida. and all that. You ever see him? He's in Summer Rental with John Candy. Is he really? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, Watch absolutely. Summer Rental. Did, he, not, did he not become he, a preacher? He went out there, and he, he was doing some Christ, like Christian radio something okay. with his wife, and uh, he was an actor, and he did appear in some stuff, and yes, he um, he is in Summer Rental, because I remember cool. watching it, and I told Great him movie. to go, that's a man, man. He, and he's in it more than just like like a clip. No kidding. You know, yeah, he's, he's in it. That's awesome. But again, I mean, that's one of the tops right there. And then my personal favorite, we talked about him, the goal. I mean, I love the goal. Yeah. Uh, Blowing stuff up. And if you're, okay, uh, you're a big fan of that. Mm-hmm. Maybe when this show airs um, in the comments, I can maybe post a couple links. Mm-hmm. We Please. did we did a two-show retrospective on the goal. Really? With awesome. some of the old cast members sharing their stories really? uh, behind the scenes, yes, please, and all that, and, and uh, God, they they had such a blast. We all went back to the old because he did a lot of his stuff in Detroit, Detroit, yeah. And then he came back here. He did some stuff here. They would travel back and forth, back yeah. and forth. And he had a little studio here, and we went back to the old warehouse where they did it. We had the old backdrop. That's awesome. And we you know, we were able to get a couple of uh, hot finds too of the stuff really? that they used to have on set. I wow. Uh, and. Um, God, you know, it is such a shout out, John Basso. He he was uh, he was. He no, you're was, watching. He was one of the uh, the producers who did all kind of like what he does. I uh, yeah. actually, when I made a short film, a dozen years ago or whatever, we took it to the Motor City Comic Con, and our table is right next to Ron's. Ron Sweet was the goal, and I got to sit there and talk to him for the whole weekend. And I found out he used to work where I worked when he was a teenager. He told me the Beatles story. He told me what a great guy he was. Yeah. He 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 actually, small world, he, back like early high school, he had the, uh, trying to date my ex-girlfriend's mom. He no was kidding. so in love with her, had the biggest crush on her. And then the, the girl I'm seeing now, his, one of his, like his first wife or first girlfriend, whatever, she, she knows my girlfriend's Mom, it's like what the hell? It's kind of Can't get away from the ghoul for crying out loud, man! <laughs> it's you know? kismet, man. It's kismet. <laughs> Whoa! Well, let's talk about the ghoul real quick. Yep. From seventy-one to seventy-five, he was in Cleveland. Seventy-seven to seventy-nine, he was up in Detroit. Eighty-two to eighty-four, back in Cleveland. Ninety-eight to ninety or two thousand four, he was in Akron. Mm-hmm. And then, unfortunately, he died in two thousand nineteen. Uh, he took the bones of what the goulard goulardy character was and amped them up. Yep. I mean, froggy. Hiya, gang. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Just him blowing that guy up Just every week. Just blowing stuff up, catching stuff on fire. Over I mean, day. he didn't care. Yeah, he he brought, I mean, anywhere you go, people would say, over day. Yeah. Or boom, easy boom, on boom, the boom booms. Yep. And, you know, and his rivalry with Uncle Vic. Yep. I still remember that as a kid. That was great. Um, we have his boom boom table. Do you really? Yep, that he used to blow stuff up on. Amazing. Yep. So that was my, the goal was my favorite by far when I was a kid. Uh, just the way I just remember watching a hack slash movie that he had and this person's wailing on this person with an axe. Oh, he, 
Ow. Yeah, and then playing Hurts So Good in the background, yeah. and it's just, oh. <sighs> Rip my jeans. <laughs> Such great memories, man. So like great, I said, we man. grew up in the best time. So great. The best stuff, man. Yeah. All right, let's talk about these last few. I mean, we're going to touch on them. The morning exchange. I mean, when we were kids. It just reminds me of getting up for school. <laughs> right? Exactly. You know, it's like I hated the morning exchange. And then if it was a snow day, I had to sit there with mom yeah. and watch Fred and Morning Trifford. exchange. It's like, that just reminds me of flipping a bowl of cereal while I'm falling asleep and spilling the milk <laughs> and listening to that in the background. 72 to 99, Fred Griffith, Liz Richards originally, before she left after Gary D. boxed her around. Then Joel Rose, who came to a tragic end. Uh, supposedly, he was sending underwear and things to women and he, they took his typewriter and computer and nothing ever matched but he was so embarrassed by these allegations he just well, unfortunately took his own life uh, and then jan jones came on that she's been to galardy fest a couple times jan mm -hmm. well speaking of jan she was also on this little show called pm magazine oh mm -hmm. that was another one that was the uh basically the Afternoon morning exchange. Yeah. 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 You wake afternoon. up for school, morning exchange, you come home from school, yeah. PM. Well, that was a yeah. syndicated show, so it was nationally, but we had our own Cleveland yeah. version. Yeah. And started with Jim Finnerty, Finnerty and yeah. Kathy, Kathy, Kathy Burgett. Kathy Burgett. Yeah. yeah. And then Jan Jones and Michael Stanley took over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it they were a great team. Then. They were yeah, a great team, though. Good. But yeah, well, Kathy Burgett was awesome. Yeah, she was. Uh, but that went from 79 Jim to 83, so it was only four years for PM Magazine. But then one of my favorites. The prize movie, John, John Lanigan. <laughs> you know that fucking wheel. You know, <laughs> name the celebrity. Oh, I, I kept hoping for like, uh, like a good movie, like Godzilla again. Oh like no. Was, no, you know, it's just it never had, had the worst. It was, movies. but there was one movie he showed. Yeah. That we might show on our show if there's a gray area. We're gonna go through some fine loopholes here. Called Soul Survivor. It's got William Shatner in it. Wow, well, then it's got to be S great. S O L E, Soul Survivor. S like, well, that sounds almost. The only survivor? Like, well, yes. But that was not a bad movie. Well, you know what? I always remember. It's the only movie I remember prize watching the prize was movie. Every day. So when you had the flu, you watched the prize movie. I, right. My right. biggest memory of prize movie is this he promised he was going to have Kiss on his show. And he I promised know. they were going to be there, they were going to have their makeup on. Really? And then he brought out one of his producers, a black guy, with a bag over his head. And he's like, "Here's Kiss." <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yes. It was. It was. I was so mad as a what little a kid. <laughs> it's Lanigan. Yes. But yeah, bad movie. But yeah, you would get it wrong, and they what bump it up by ten bucks or yeah, four hundred and three dollars uh, and forty three cents. Yeah, it was on. never yeah, Lanigan. I mean, he, he was he was a good host. He was. yes. just wasn't a fan of the show. Right, but no, it was around no. for a but, yeah, long but it, time. But it was it a total staple. The flu as a kid. When yeah, you were yeah. sick, you watched it because it was in the afternoon. Well, you had to watch three channels. Yeah, or five, ten. It was on after Prices Price is Right, of course. Yeah, under Price ten. Is right. <laughs> under ten channels. Uh, Price movie went from 1975 to 1993, so it was around for a while. Ew. And then the last one I have on here was also a syndicated show that was around the whole country, but we had our own version here. It was Romper Room. Oh, yeah. Remember mm -hmm. Romper Room? Oh yeah. 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 I just remember because they had their mascot was called Doobie. It's kind mm. of sign of the times, and, and, I guess. And when she looked out and called yeah, your name, the, you're the for magic you're mirror. The whole, oh, God, she saw me. Yeah, yeah. You know? never called my name. No, never called my name either. Yep. Mm. Called my name a couple times. Well, you are the Mike Trevisano. I am the, well, back then I wasn't though. <laughs> there was a couple of them. Uh, that ran from '53 to '94. Really? That was on a long ass time. Damn kids. Well, they probably had four or five hosts. I remember the one, but. Never sent my name. No. It's hard to find a keychain with my name on it, so. Keef? Yeah. K-E-E-F. No. Can't find it. <laughs> Keef. Keef. Remember those customized license plates when you were a kid? Keef. My name. <laughs> the damn Whatever. shame. Mm. I think we've done it, boys. Anything else you want to talk about, so, Mike? So, anyway, your favorite was Superhost? Your favorite was? No, I love the ghoul. And I, but the ghoul, I, I, I say ghoul. Like, so Super host is up. But we're, but we're talking Chuck. about Hulahan yeah. Chuck or Super host. Yes. Hulahan Big Chuck would be my favorite. That was of good. all time? Of all Hula time. Hulahan Big Chuck or Big Chuck and Little John? Uh, See, so anything with Big Chuck in same. it was my favorite. It's the, the Kobasi kid. Now, you know what was great? Galardi Fest, what they did one year is remember Guitar Zan? Oh, yeah. yeah. Guitar Zan. They recreated it. And they came out, no and kid. Little John played um, the, uh, the, um, the girl. 
Jane. Yes. Thank you. You're Little Jane. Jane. And, uh, and then uh, Son of Ghoul. You didn't talk, talk about Son of Ghoul. I, I, I didn't. Son of Ghoul, who uh, entered a lookalike contest for the Ghoul, mm-hmm. and he and the Ghoul named him Son of Ghoul, so then Son of Ghoul decided to do his own Son of Ghoul. Show. And then the Ghoul, I think, allegedly, possibly, maybe, we don't know for sure, but could be true. That's what I was saying the show, to kind of cover all bases. Okay. Uh, the Ghoul, I think, was going to took him to court or something about oh, like the whole something, Gallagher, some Gallagher sort of, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, not, nothing ever happened with it, whatever. But Son of Gold still doing shows and and we're friends with him and uh, he, he's still out there doing his thing. Oh, God bless. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Well, we want to thank you for being oh, down here. You're yeah, going to yeah. stick around because I after am. this, we're going to do a battle and our yeah. other show. We've decided to put the battle on a separate show now. Can't wait. So we can get this thing a little bit more condensed. But we are going to battle on the second show yes, called wait. Stairway to Heaven. It's Stairway to Cleveland. Oh, shit. It is. <laughs> Take two. Watch Roll it. that back. <laughs> so we're going to wrap this up. We're going to do our second show, which is The Battle. Can't wait. Stairway to Cleveland, the battle. But Mike, you're going to stick around. We're going to battle. Okay. And we'll see one. So I always win. But stick around. He's not winning. I always win. He's never All won right. once. Really? <laughs> Thanks for being here with us tonight. No, Mike. thank you. This was a blast. And we'll be back with the battle. All right. For Stairway to Cleveland, that's Keith. That's Scott. And that's Mike. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with your friends. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Show us your tweets. (laughs) 